Hello and welcome back to Purple Druid Presents. So I've decided that this wargaming video business um, needs to have a little more structure. Uh, I've just been flailing around a little so one of my online pals and I have decided that we're going to discuss chainmail and how to play and how to integrate it with your Dungeons and Dragons and or other TTRPG role-playing games. So we have the second edition of Chainmail here. We'll be using some old 10 millimeter Warmaster figures that I have uh, picked up. I rebased them. Some of the bases were kind of messed up um, and I cleaned up the paint jobs. And what I've done is I've created two different teams of approximately the same size. This is the blue team. We also have a red team. And I have some hills that I've made. We have some different fields, things like so, for terrain. And I don't have any buildings yet. I did make a sample. This is a test that I did for a 15 to 20 millimeter terrain piece. And both of these are built on these little 4x6 canvas. You can buy these at a craft store. They're about a dollar a piece. So I've got a stack of them and I'll be building quite a bit of terrain. So in the meantime, what we've got with these little figures here is we'll be doing, you know, they're built, they're designed for Warmaster. Um, which is the Games Workshop game, so there's going to be quite a bit of Warhammer 40k, look, or Warhammer Fantasy Battle looking stuff here. Um, however, the game itself, Chainmail, has generic rules for basic troops and your points values. So, Peasant, Levy, Lightfoot, Heavyfoot, armored foot, light, medium, and heavy horse. So what we'll be able to do is create a army list utilizing these figures that allows us to play a game of chainmail. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any particular scenarios or ideas or anything you'd like to see get played out, please let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon.